Shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, I am the Cyber Ape Guru. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate you watching. Uh, so this is going to be part three of the cutting board video. Uh, specifically, I just want to show you some quick time lapses of the CNC machine cutting the parts out for the um, for the cutting board. I lost my mind. I can't remember what we we're talking about. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to do some quick uh, narratives over top of some pictures of the process assembling it. Unfortunately, I mentioned this in the last video, um, I did not get a picture of the final finished product with it all sanded out and oiled up. It looked uh, pretty darn good. Um, I'll be honest, not the best product I've made. Um, I had some issues when cutting the, um, the inlays out. Um, uh, I thought I'd be cool and, and make two different tool paths, one to do a finishing pass and one not. And I just took a little bit too much off of the uh, off of the inlays, and so there was a little bit of a gap. I wasn't too her uh, terribly happy with the output, um, but I was able to fix it and, and move on. Um, also, I uh, have to spend some time tuning the machine again. I had some uh, belts were too loosened, uh, too loose, and some um, knots had uh, gotten loose. So I need to go back and recalibrate everything to. Uh, uh, bring them back into tolerance, uh, make some uh, better products. But anyway, so uh, with that, uh, over to the uh, time lapses, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side whenever, uh, whenever they're done. Thanks. Okay, so welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the uh, time lapse uh, videos. And so now we're going to run through some quick uh, pictures that I took uh, during the process. So the first picture you see here actually is uh, just all the pieces laid out on the cutting board. Um, uh, the uh, maples on the left, the purple heart and the walnut are on the right, and, and the padauk uh, is in the middle. Uh, so, uh, you know, the maple is going to be the wine glass, the padauk is going to be the wine, uh, red wine, you know. Um, the purple heart is going to be the grapes, and the walnut is going to be the stem there. So, I, I like to lay out all the pieces, make sure I have them all in the right places. In this case, there's uh, not too terribly many of them, and they're pretty, uh, pretty straightforward about where they're going to go. There's no uh, symmetry issues or anything like that, so... Uh, the next picture I'm just showing you, uh, uh, glue, uh, put glue in the pocket. Uh, typically, I go one pocket at a time, uh, uh, put the glue in, uh, push the piece into the pocket, make sure it's seated well, um, and then I move the next pocket. Uh, for a small glue up like this, um, you could probably get away with uh, doing uh, multiple uh, glue in multiple pockets at a time, uh, which uh, is actually what I did here in the next picture you see after I put the uh, padalk in uh, as the wine uh, I actually put glue down in all of the pieces. Uh, this is predominantly because the pieces were had a lot of uh, play and tolerance in them. Uh, they were super easy to get in. There was not a lot of uh, pushing or pounding or anything like this. So uh, You can also see here I went a little overboard with the glue. Um, would not recommend that much glue especially uh, the glue down in the corners there. Um, it's just going to ooze out. In this case I actually uh, intentionally went overboard with the glue because again the tolerances were out of spec uh, so I wanted the, the glue to actually fill in some of the gap there so you can see in the next picture here uh, I have all the pieces in, in um, pushed into place uh, the glues uh, you can see is kind of squeezed out a little bit uh, what you do is you take a wet paper towel or wet cloth uh, and you wipe it down as best as you can um, removing all the glue from the outside uh, and now this uh, carpenter's glue here which is a tight bond 2 for anyone who uh, is curious um, that's what I found the best for its uh, food safe and its uh, carpenter's uh, tight glue is actually quite fantastic for this so um, <clears throat> Uh, wipe it down very heavily. If you want to take a, a scrubby or a sponge or something and to, you know to really get all the glue off, that's perfectly fine. Uh, here, the um, 
the pocket uh, there <laughs> I did some issues with the pocket the, uh, the the cutting board itself actually wasn't flat so the the, po uh, the pocket is uh, not flat as well which means there's the wood is not level so just a little extra stand sanding at the end um, again many 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 things went wrong with this build um, so uh, the next video just shows uh, the board after I wiped it down with a wet paper towel. You can see it's actually uh, in the process of drying. Uh, you can see in the purple heart here how there's uh, two different colors there. Uh, the darker there is really what it's going to look like uh, after it's uh, all oiled up. Uh, and again, I apologize. I did not get a picture of it after it was all complete. It did look pretty decent. Um, I filled in all the gaps with glue, a um, little glue and sawdust mixture there after sanding and filled in all the gaps and sanded down again with the, uh, I sand, I start with a 60, move to 120, uh, 120 to 220, 220 to 300 uh, to finish it off. Um, turns out very, very well. Uh, advantage of wetting uh, the wood, by the way, um, uh, there's a, uh, wood after you wet it, it has a tendency to stand up and gets fibers. Um, so if you wet it here with the glue, uh, it's already those fibers are, are standing up. So when you sand it, you knock all those down. So when you put the oil on, uh, you don't get any fuzzies or anything like that. So it works out pretty well. The bamboo here I found uh, was really great at milling. So um, now there's no uh, uh, fibers from the bamboo because you know it's a tree. It's not an actually uh, it's a what do they call it? It's a plant, not a tree, something like this, or it's a weed. I think they call it a weed. Anyway, um, so that's it. Uh, those are the pictures. Uh, uh, hopefully, I'll do another one of these where you can show the kind of end-to-end -end process. I actually have uh, a bunch of projects that I've done already, um, not on the pre-made cutting board like this, um, where I actually did completely from scratch on uh, inventables. And I'll put a link. Um, let's see. Mm, oh, ah, there you go. Uh, up there, maybe. Um so you can see uh, some of the other projects that I've done here and what the art of the possible is. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Um, but uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you don't like the video, appreciate the thumbs up. But anyway, I um, hope you, everyone has a great holiday if you see this uh, before Christmas, if you celebrate such a thing. Um, and we hope to see you in the new year. So uh, have a great day. Thanks. And sit down.